which is 2611 and, and ROX131, the, the P designation. This switch here switches between the two PE lines, and then its output goes into the generator line switch. So if we lose both lines, then this switch will start the generator. Basically, I have a switch that starts the generator, waits for the generator, makes power and, and, and frequency, and switches to it. And we have enough fuel here to run about 80 hours, which is about three and third days. Called the Holy Rack Room, which is basically the for a quality control monitoring. All the equipment it takes. Like this is your whole... signal, obviously. Right, right. Now you're actually looking at you're looking at a feed or an off-air picture. A detected feed off the off the transmitter. Detected feed. So if the transmitter goes off, you'll know it. Oh yeah. Because this goes bye-bye. Everything else we stream at me. Right. A lot of this stuff, like from here up was the analog stuff, you know, stereo generators, pr pr right. uh -huh. stuff, and so forth. The only thing that was really here was the DTVD mod, which is here, the monitor and so forth, because this was the area that was, and, and this is this is a neat thing, it actually monitors the signal quality, and over the internet can tell the studio that we're not making a good picture. Hmm. Or making a good picture. Or making a good picture, which we right. have. Right. right. The back row was basically empty except for storage of old microwave equipment. Ah, okay. Which is something we stole some, but let me show you this. This has the fiber in between the buildings which were used for the analog stuff. Okay. That's the digital fiber receiver. These are these uh, Evertex. This is Sorry, are you on fiber now between here we're and the both, studio? We're both. Both fiber and microwave? Right, right. Okay. This goes with this receiver, which goes with this. This is all this new ENG stuff. From here up is all, you know, from there to here. Okay, from there to is, is, there. Is, okay. is the news ENG equipment. Okay. okay. This is still storage. Storage. Up I remember here, some of these things. Up here is a fiber um, power supply which runs these IF things, which will take microwaves, 75 megahertz IF back and forth between oh, buildings. Okay. So I can actually send it over there to a receiver and decode it. Okay. This is my uh, high def. This is a high definition DA. Okay. The fiber comes in here, and the microwave comes in here, and then some are direct feed, and some go to different mm -hmm. things. Everything that is blue, right. don't patch in. Don't patch, right. okay. The rest of it's extras, but this okay. tells you, if you plug in there, you're going to disable you something. Something that's vital to air. Well, yeah, it might be or, if it's on the back right. of the transfer or the back of the center right. problem, but you, you, the idea is you don't want to plug in there. Up here is still some STL stuff that they use for sending yeah. mostly water back and forth. Now, here's the high definition. Well, these are, these are two receivers with the high definition S A 8, 8 SB receivers. So these receivers feed into these guys to give us the uh, SMPTE 310 for the transmitter. Okay. Hot standby switches and so forth and so on. Mm -hmm. We normally use the T1 through telephone at 1.54, which carries everything. Radar, remote controls, my internet, everything. So you can tell it's not real fast. T1, yeah. Now we have called a Trango unit. I don't even see it in there. It's a white box. Right. There's a piece of waveguide up there. One end is 7 gigahertz. The center is the antenna. And the other end is 5.4 gigahertz. Huh. Turns out that 7 gigahertz waveguide would carry frequency from 4.8 to like 8.4. And there's filters. So we're now using the 7 gigahertz link antennas to send IP data back and forth. Also, it'll work when everything else doesn't work. We had a problem out here where I got a call one night. Can't connect to the remote control. At the same time, the guy said, I called it. I called that because I was out here earlier with no problem. It was the second trip that night. You can't, the telephone says it's uh, all lines are busy or not working. I come out here, nothing works except for the fiber feed. Wow. Apparently, somebody hit a single pole someplace which was carrying a main cable trunk thing from Roxbury. And wiped out all that. And took out every phone, every dedicated line, everything. And all the IP and all the thing. So, not only this gives a higher speed and costs less, because once you buy it, you have it. As long as our microwave equipment runs, it'll work. Okay, the problem with transmission line is, this is basically got seams all up there. It's basically a piece of copper with a center copper held off with insulators. We keep air pressure in it, mostly to keep water out, to keep it dry. Dry nitrogen is far better, a little more expensive, because nitrogen on top of being dry has no oxygen, so it doesn't support oxidation, so the copper center doesn't get dull. Corroded. 
They, right. they stay quite bright, and the lime will last very long if you. And keep at those voltages, just a little bit of moisture can cause an arc. Well, yeah, you got right. moisture across an insulator, and a little right. bit of dirt. It's not an and, insulator anymore. And thirty-eight thousand watts, and you can figure out the voltage across the line if you want to figure mm -hmm. out fifty ohms of that. Right. It's a few thousand volts that can make quite a mess if right. it starts to heat.